Hey people, it's Copy Who. I have shortened the intro as you can see. Because I think people will be bored and they will tune out if they see the long intro there. So I've cut it down by two thirds for you. People say they don't like it. Plus I also think that, you know, the scrolling uh, message at the beginning there, not only does it allow me to shorten it, but I think it's just a lot more pleasant on the eyes for what that is. I also put in these new lights over here and boy, have they been a super pain in my ass. I'm not even joking. Like they screwed up my whole home, home network with the other lights I have and stuff. And I feel like now that I have it semi sorted, if I put these lights here, if I put them on my Apple home kit, it's going to get all screwed up again. Just jacks everything up. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up. It drives me bananas, though. What's up, my fine furry friend? How are you today? Yeah? Are you ready to have some fun with me tonight? I know. Like, holy cow. I'm just like, I'm all, like, excited. And I prepared a few things. It's nothing, nothing super special. What a way to sell myself. If you want to stick around and see what I'm doing, you'll have to stick around and see what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to tune out, go. Get lost. This is not good enough for you. Get lost. If you like your shorts, if you like your goldfish attention span, beat it. Scram. Hit the road, Jack. You know what I mean? I think I am right about that, my little friend, because I just don't like the way people can be sometimes. They just like want to click away from you and they don't even want to give you a chance. It's wrong. Holy cow, but so I put aside some things from Instagram today that I was looking at and it made me think that a handful of them are more then and now that I have a visceral a visceral reaction to. I don't always like the visceral reaction, but I live with it. It is what it is. And so what I'm going to do without further ado is I'm going to come over here to my money shot and I'm going to open up my list of things that I'm going to look at this night with you. See how I put it up in that corner there? That's very convenient for me. It's like a nice little workflow technique I have. And I think I'll start with, I just want to look at this lady's, this lady's Instagram. Okay. She is a sportscaster for NBC, the lady on the far left here. Let me show you how gorgeous this lady is, okay? She's gorgeous. And you're like, why? Why? Well, they're all gorgeous, my God. Every one of these young women is gorgeous. And is, But I really like the womanliness of this lady. I don't know who is this. Is this her? Merry Christmas from Arizona. It was a different kind of Christmas for sure. Her name is Melissa Stark. On the road, working, missing my boys back home. But I'd say, that means you're married. Boo on you. Ah, she's married. All the good ones are taken. But I don't know everything about you. You might not you might not live up to my exacting standards for women. And these two look beautiful, but of course I think they are a little too young for me. Sorry, ladies. But in the middle, if you're by any chance 30 years old, you're amazingly young looking for 30. And if you have the values that I cherish in women, then like hit me up, okay? Um, so I, I just wanted to say about this lady in particular. Why do you think this? So this lady must have some kind of background in sports. NFL network host, mom of four. Oh, this is a nice lady here. I have a whole new admiration for her. I really like her. But I'm telling you what, it's extraordinary that you have four children and your figure looks this good. I mean, that is, that's awesome. And you get onto the field like that. That's pretty cool. Do you invade men's spaces as well? Do you mosey into that locker room when dudes are standing around naked? Because if you do, I'm going to tell you right now. Listen, now, okay? I'm serious when I say this. That's not right. You're invading male spaces. Just like I wouldn't go into a woman's locker room, what are you doing in the dude's locker room? You're trying to deprive men of their experience in the locker room. Locker room talk. Like, hey, bro. What's up, yo? Did you see that chick outside fill in the blank all the nasty things dudes say? Isn't that what President Trump called it? He called it locker room talk. We're deprived of locker room talk when you're there. But you're an amazing woman, and um, 
That's all I wanted to say. What? Oh, I wanted to say, why do you think this gorgeous woman got this job? And I think in the manner of questioning, the adjective I used to describe her, gorgeous, gives you a pretty darn good idea about why she got the job. I, I would like to know if she has some some good know, know-it-all, what do you call it, know-how with sports. Do you have a good no- base of knowledge for sports? Shit, sometimes I sound so articulate and then I trip all over myself and I'm like, whoa, what's, I'm like a master of the English language and then all of a sudden I'm like tripping over my own tongue. Can't stand that. Look at your an amazing, you have this amazing figure, 6,505 guys agreed. I guarantee you if that were me and if I had the exact same job, that would probably be like 100 likes understandable right but i'm not so i'm not so uh difficult on the eyes i don't think here i am being jealous of a woman's looks but honestly you are a gorgeous lady um coming through here and she's talking to all these dudes no locker room picks though that's good okay here okay so she has two daughters maybe actually the women she was standing with at the beginning here were were her um we're both her daughters. They could kind of be, right? I don't know. Gorgeous people, okay? This guy, you lucky bastard. Why don't you tell me your secret? Why don't you tell me your secret? Oh, I'm so jealous. Don't you think I should be jealous? My cute little owl friend? Of course I should be. I should be totally jealous. You are, and you're a bird, you say. Oh, God, no no doubt. I, I hear what you're saying, and I agree. If I were a bird, I'd want to have sex with that lady. Chirp! I know, right? That's between us. I'm not going to tell you what that was. Okay. It's enough with this lady. Melissa Stark, it was was fun right now to gaze upon you. And you have a lovely family. And I didn't disrespect you very much because I kind of get a vibe from you that you're a really nice lady. and, And I would be so delighted if I had a wife that looked like you... And four amazing young-looking kids like that, I just think uh, that's what makes me sad right now. It's what I, that's what I want right there, is a family like that. And then, But except I'd be a lot older if I started it right now. I'd be like this old man. I'd be like, yeah, oh, this is my family. These are my boys. And they'll be like, shut up, Dad. Huh. 